Chapter 6, Through the Ice. Callum's sleeping good too, huh? Wait, is that from the bite or from the bracelet? Oh, it's the tracker. Damn, I forgot his name. Damn it, so many names. Oh, it's Bambi! But also the tracker. My hand's got a problem you can't lick away. What's the matter? Never trapped an elf before. Easier than I thought. Oh, he's just going for the kill? Is that how you trap things? I think we're alone. Finally. Oh, I've been waiting <laughs> for this moment. I see they still have bread. Bread still smells like peanut butter. Count! Mm. What? Ew. What? What? Wake up! What? What? Layla's missing. Oh no! Did she take it? Dude, come on, man. He really like has some prejudice against this girl. He can't get over his thing with elves. But come on, she saved your life now. How many times? <laughs> Twice. I like her, Callum. Hey, I like her too. Yes, Ezra being but the real prince is, he is. She's an elf. Who cares? It seems maybe everything we've ever heard about elves is wrong. She's not telling us everything. Ezrin just winning me over. Ezrin is such a good kid and it's done in a way that doesn't feel contrived. One really cool thing about Ezrin so far that's really piqued my interest about him as a character, it's not just that he's kind and obviously virtuous, it's that he seems so totally unafraid. I've said this before, but it's like he's above it somehow. Gonna be a great king one day, for sure. You killed their father. I didn't kill anyone. Your leader did. What's the difference? Right, okay. So that's the story, huh? That's the official story? They don't know, do they? Oh, that's true. They still don't know that. She's been hiding it from them. So, um, did you know you were kind of sleep talking before? <laughs> what about were peanut butter you breath. dreaming about? Claudia. You said something about peanut butter? Sandwiches! You seemed weirdly excited about sandwiches. <laughs> you know what? In a few years, when you're older, buddy, we'll sit down. And have a heart-to-heart -heart talk about sandwiches. The way things are going now, it'll be Ezrin giving Callum the sandwich talk. Ezrin's gonna have no trouble. None. He's kind. He's smart. He has great legs. He's gonna be king. Callum's gonna be wandering around trying to get a sniff of Claudia's breath. Like he knows anything about sandwiches. Give me a break. Go, go, go! We've gotta move. We should eat something first. Look how grumpy Bait is right now. What happened to all those fish? Fine. <sighs> Don't forget the bread. What are you going to use to fight off your <laughs> attackers? <laughs> yes! Why did I get so excited about that? The outcome of your mission is critical to the future of our kingdom. We got this. We'll find them. I'm sure you will. Well, this is awkward. How do you put this? I feel like Claudia is probably a lock for him, but Soren he has to test out. Because I feel like Soren's going to have a problem with this. But there's a bit of... Nuance to this situation. Nuance. No idea what nuance is. <laughs> you are to return with the terrible news that both princes have died. Oh, I want to see his reaction. He didn't say kill them though, which is key. So from the first episode onward, I've had a deep interest in Soren, specifically the relationship between him and Callum. That's something that I think I'm going to get a lot of enjoyment from. But thinking about it now, Soren has a lot of potential because in many ways he's so innocent. Like he seems really happy with this life. Like he's so carefree. Even when he was hunting the elves, he didn't seem very concerned. But I imagine that will be heavily tested as he's drawn further and further into his father's world. This is way out of left field, but I feel like maybe the apple is some kind of symbol for him. He's always eating apples, right? There's the forbidden fruit, which is sort of like man's understanding of fragility and evil. It's weird. I don't know. We need to go up that way. Tougher terrain is safer for us. The tougher the badger. Well, that sounds terrible. Exactly. This is already tough enough. Do you have any idea how heavy this egg is? Yeah, why is Ezra the only one carrying the egg? Oh, I guess it's by his choice, right? He's the one who wants to take care of it. Is the mountain thing a metaphor for Rayla's character? The tougher, the better. I'm just throwing these theories out today. I have no idea. Uh, no, I don't. Because you won't trust me to carry it. Right, Well, Fair should enough. we Fair trust enough. you? Have you told us the truth about everything? That is a good point. I forgot about that. She hasn't shared with them one of the most important details of their lives, which is that the king is dead. History has come to a crucial tipping point. So you're saying things could go either way? Precisely. Like a seesaw. <laughs> He's maybe not as intelligent as I first thought. What am I supposed to do if we find them alive? Oh, you'll know the right thing to do. I don't know if I can do that. 
It will be a burden for me to take the throne. And someday that throne will belong to you. Hmm. Well, that's one way to sell it. <laughs> Maybe that is the end of innocence for Soren. Soren may not be book smart, but he does seem people smart, if that makes sense. And if it's someone like Callum, who's been your little brother, that's a tough sell. So this is like a weird crossroads for him. It seems like Varian does care about his kids quite a bit. Maybe part of this whole thing is his vision for the future of Claudia and Soren. I mean, he obviously trusts them a great deal and he's been nurturing their talents and interests, but he's sort of crossing a line here, right? Like he's asking his kids to adopt his vision of the future that, I mean, his his morals are kind of dubious. So far, I feel like the show is a little bit less forthright with their characters and their motivations and things like that. Like there's a lot of things that could be, there's a lot of ways they could go. We'll just have to see. Oh no, I don't have the food. What? Did you, you ever really have, have food though? one job. Carry your stale human food. How could you leave it? You rushed us. You made me leave it. Oh no, Callum. I suppose I'd be willing to share my moonberry juice with you. It's packed with super nutrients and I still have plenty. Still had plenty. Was it bait? Did that little frog monster? <laughs> How to get the cork off? This mirror. We saw this in the first episode, I think. I think it was the first thing we saw Viren doing. Speak your true nature to me. Oh my god. You think I haven't tried that? Of all the treasures, artifacts and relics in the lair of the dragon, king and queen, they kept this closest to where they slept. I'm putting you on notice. Kind of weird how the mirror did it right back at me. And that's what it's really about. The mirror is there to show you what you had inside the entire time. I don't know. This is just the episode where I throw a bunch of crap at the wall. Maybe one of them will be right eventually. Is there like some key detail in here? Is that sheep standing on a stool? They're a little sheep and they're standing up. Let's say we're attacked by giant bumble scorps and I'm forced to choose between saving the egg and saving Soren. The egg. Oh. Okay. There is a solution, you know. You can just let me carry the egg. You realize that I could just take it, right? I was about to say that, yeah. Way to increase trust. But I don't. That's the point. Right. Her carrying it makes no difference. On my own, and as a matter of fact, down. I would be a hero. Then what's stopping you? Because it has to come from you. Human princes returning the egg to the dragon queen. That could end the war and change the world. It's actually pretty, pretty clever. Pretty insightful. If we're not careful, we could start an avalanche. Got it? Uh-huh. No, a peep. See, let Ezrin lead. Oh no. Should have let you get eaten by the Unagi. What happened to your hand? Don't worry about it. Just run. It is the wristband, right? I think the wolf bite was on her other arm. Get behind me. He's right there, and he's okay. We all made it. I'm worried about the ice. I'll go get the egg. Oh no. Ah, uh, I knew it. This guy knows how to live. <laughs> did Dad say anything strange to you? Yeah, he kind of did. Did he say anything strange to you? No, no, totally not. Just a standard dad chat. What? What did he say to you that was so strange? Oh, he said that walnuts are his favorite fruit. I mean, that's crazy, right? I don't even think they're a fruit. <laughs> are you ready for our mission? Yeah, I guess I am. Great. I'm sure you won't die. What? Weird. Soren missed a big opportunity there, to be honest. Everyone's lying. Damn it, I just want them to communicate. <laughs> It's frustrating. Just talk to each other. Tell the truth, damn it. Easy does it. Just pass it over. You gotta give it to Rayla. I'm sorry if I was a jerk before, Rayla. I do trust you. I need to tell you the truth. This morning, the big rush was because I was attacked by someone, a human. But it was hard because of this. There's a lot of secrets, actually. I swore an oath to end Prince Ezrin's life. It will just get tighter and tighter until I oh, lose no, my Oh no, I didn't realize hand. there were stakes behind it. But I'm ready to pay that price. The king! Just take it! <gasps> <gasps> oh 
Oh, it scared the crap out of me. Stop arguing! We have to do something! And no! Whoa. He's just a kid. He's brave and strong. He can do this. You were wrong. Nah. I, I thought he would be able to... Give him a second. Oh yeah, right, right. Yeah, like the current carries you. This is a sturdy egg. I think I got a case of the frozy toesies. Oh no. You gotta warm it up. You gotta sit on it or something. Well, damn, that was a dramatic scene. <laughs> for me, for some reason, the most suspenseful things ever are like when people are underwater. I hate it. It's terrifying. Big move by Ezrin. Clutch save on the egg. He's gonna eat so many sandwiches. <laughs> when he grows up, Callum's just gonna watch this kid eat sandwiches his whole life. All right, that's the end of episode six. I'll see you very soon for episode seven.